Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ, our Savior welcomes to the steward has given us together. Today I am meditating upon, treat God as God and not a personal assistant. Before we start, let's see what scripture talks about in this topic. Matthew chapter 11 verse 6, and blessed is the one who is not offended by me. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse you just read. At some point in our lives, we all encounter a time when nothing seems to be going right, and we ask God a common question, why is this happening to me? We try to remind God of the favor we are giving him and show him that he is not fair to us. Our expectations of what God should do are different from what God actually does. If God always met our expectations, he wouldn't be God. He would be our personal assistant. No one knew this better than John the Baptist. John was sitting in prison all because Herod was mad that John was criticizing his relationship choices. And John likely was waiting on Jesus. After all, why wouldn't Jesus come and rescue him? In Matthew chapter 11, verse 3, John asked this of Jesus. Are you the Messiah we've been expecting, or should we keep looking for someone else? In other words, are you really who you say you are, and you are, are you actually the Messiah? Because it seems like if you were, I wouldn't be sitting here in this dirt and prissy cell. When I read this, I would expect that Jesus would show up triumphantly, break down the prison walls, and rescue John. Instead, Jesus says this, Go back to John and tell him what you have heard and seen. The blind see, the lame walk, those with leprosy are cured, the deaf hear, the dead are raised to life, and the good news is being preached to the poor. He doesn't answer John's question directly with a yes or no answer, but I think as soon as John heard this, he knew that Jesus was the Messiah. After all, how could the blind see, the deaf hear, and the dead be raised to life? Then Jesus adds something to that reframes everything and proceeds to turn it all upside down. And he added, God blesses those who do not fall away because of me. I'd have a thought that Jesus might say, God blesses those who don't fall into sin. But he doesn't say that. Another translation of that same verse says, God blesses those who are not offended by me. Essentially, Jesus was saying that you're blessed if you're not offended by God's activity or at times that seem lack thereof. It is hard to get my mind around. Jesus is saying that some people would be disappointed by his lack of activity. The marriage still fell apart. The cancer was, wasn't cured. Your prodigal son never returned. John the Baptist ended up being beheaded in prison. Our circumstances are not necessarily a reflection of his goodness, but his presence is. We're blessed when we can trust God in the valleys, even after we've seen him move mountains. Sometimes the blessings is there, even without the breakthrough. So when God doesn't act in a way we expect, it's okay to feel frustrated. It's okay to It's okay to question, to doubt, or to wrestle, but we'll be blessed when we're not offended by God and instead spend time with Him, trusting Him, experiencing Him, and loving Him for who He is and not just what He's done. Don't let circumstances build your grudge for God. Instead, let Him be glorified in you. Take this time, this Lent season, and fast from the building the grudge that can cause grumbling against God's plan. Learn and practice to submit to his will so many will be blessed by seeing his faithfulness in you. This message also gives a promise for our day today. The promise is, do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prison to test you and you will suffer persecution for 10 days. Be faithful even to the point of death and I will give you life as your victor's crown. Let's close time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty, wonderful God, Lord, I'm sorry for the way that I've treated you like an assistant instead of a savior. Help me to understand your will and purpose to, in all my circumstances, not focusing on meeting my expectations. Please forgive me, Lord, for putting my human expectations on your infinite power. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. How about the dear one if God's going to talk to you tomorrow?